Hey Tala, welcome back to the Dotted News channel. It's your guy again, KG. I hope you guys are doing good and that you're having a productive week ahead of you. So in today's tutorial, we'll be looking into hardware components of a laptop, right? Um, I thought that it would be very important and crucial that you guys uh, get to know some of the hardware aspects of a laptop because it's very important to know what is happening with the physical components of a laptop whilst utilizing it, right? So let's dive in. I have my friend's laptop here. So I'll be replacing her LCD screen very soon because her sister uh, accidentally sat on top of the laptop. Um, now, um, this is how an LCD screen looks like. Um, and at the back, there's a connection uh, cable connection that will be able to go from come from the motherboard to the LCD screen itself. Remember, uh, these components need to act interact with each other so that they can provide communication uh, for each other uh, in order for you to do uh, the specific work that you'll be doing on your laptop. Right now, how can you be able to identify if uh, your LCD screen is damaged? You can do that by directly putting it in the sunlight um, if it doesn't uh, switch on, but you need first to switch it on to be able to determine if it's damaged or not. Then you will see that there will be a black ink or a dark, darkish, bluish, purplish color um, that is a, a mark or a dot or some dots um, on the LCD screen itself. And the third way that you can use is the laptop, uh, your, pardon me, your uh, torch, you can maneuver around with it and you'll be able to see um, if the LCD screen is damaged or not, right? Moving onward, we have our RAM. Now, this is how a RAM looks like. It's a small component, right? Um, so what it does, it's basically store temporarily some of the software or uh, whatever you may have opened up on your uh, laptop itself will temporarily store itself here. So this is one of the ways um, that uh, most people uh, you find complaining about the speed of uh, the laptop. This is a 4 gig uh, RAM device or uh, RAM component. Um, it depends with the motherboard. I'll show you a motherboard in a bit. If the motherboard has two slots, I'd advise that you buy another four gig, if it's a four gig or eight gig RAM, to make it a bit more faster um, while utilizing um, some of your programs. Um, I'd advise you to open up one or two programs and work on one or two programs, uh, not to clog it up, because once you clog it up, that's where um, it becomes a problem and your computer becomes a bit slower, right? So that is the RAM, a random access memory where files are temporarily stored as you work on your laptop. But there are other ways that you can speed up your laptop depending on the Intel Core, which is the CPU um, itself and how, if it's an, a Pentium, an i5 or um, an i7 or an i9 so forth and so forth because CPUs uh, differ from point to point and it basically um, helps you know how much speed uh, the software, uh, not the software, pardon me for that, the, the computer is itself. Then we have our hard drive where um, some of your media files and documentations are stored permanently unless you delete them yourself from this um, device. So this is a hard drive, it's a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Do not clog it up with movies uh, because it's another aspect where um, you'd find yourself having to wait for quite a long time and uh, the speed being slow of the laptop itself. So it permanently stores it unless you delete um, some of your media files, right? 
So those are the two um, um, storage components of your laptop, uh, so to say. The other one is temporary, the other one is permanent, right? Um, we also have a ROM, um, uh, which is a read-only memory as well. Uh, but I'll explain in other tutorials as we continue uh, with other tutorials. This is a disk component where your disk is inserted. I've seen uh, that with other laptops, they do not come with this. Um, uh, basically, we're moving from utilizing disks to um, utilizing USBs, right, or your memory sticks. Right, so this is how the component looks like. There's a button and also uh, where you can connect uh, this component to the motherboard. Right, um, I've spoken about motherboard. Let's dive into motherboard. Right, the motherboard. So, this is the cover uh, plastic cover for the LCD screen and the base cover for um, the, the laptop itself. Now, this um, a specific brand uh, also has an additional cover where uh, you can cover this uh, base for the laptop itself so that dust cannot clog up um, within this uh, motherboard and other components of the laptop. Remember um, to clean it um, on a monthly basis or so so that you can be able to have a more speedy uh, laptop because dust also when it connects with the fan even though some of the laptops do not utilize fans anymore it will slow or drag the process of your software as a whole um, or uh, whatever you open up on your specific device right so this is how a motherboard looks like they differ from uh, brands and <clears throat> uh, laptops as well um, models, brands, uh, and so forth. So as you can see right here, um, this part, um, it's some of the connections to the motherboard, like your keyboard, your, um, your touchpad, as well as um, your power buttons, right? And then you will have like your, um, what is this called? the charging unit or the charging point where you can be able to charge your laptop. So the motherboard is the mother of the laptop. Without the mother, it cannot work. It's very important that you have a motherboard and a RAM as well as um, the hard drive as we previously spoken uh, because they help communicate with each other so that you may be able to be productive. Um, this is the RAM slot where the RAM can be inserted. Uh, so with this laptop, it's only one uh, RAM slot, meaning she cannot um, be able to um, have an additional RAM, like an 8 gig RAM or 4 gig RAM, just to um, have that option of being able to open up uh, quite a lot of, um, what is this called, programs while utilizing the laptop. Um, so the mother, of the laptop is the motherboard itself. Um, it helps communicate with peripheral devices. Now, when I talk about peripheral devices, I'm talking about all of these components that I'm sharing with you guys so that it can be able to communicate, right? Communicate, right? Um, and then right here is where the LCD screen uh, will be able to uh, set. We have its brackets attached to the base cover of the motherboard itself, right? You see some screws over there. Um, so basically it sits in between the, um, the brackets as well as the, um, the plastic cover itself, pardon me for that. Then we have um, right here, let me just do this quickly so that you can be able to see the cable. The cable that I was talking about that is a uh, connection to uh, the, the laptop itself, the LCD screen, pardon me, the LCD screen itself. It's very important that you know that this is the cable itself. It's connected to the motherboard um, going to the LCD screen. It's very important that you do not uh, make it um, get con in contact with water 
or get damaged because once it's damaged, the whole laptop won't work, right? Um, these components are quite expensive. As you can see, there are other connections right there. Um, even uh, this uh, small component as well, right there. Um, so basically, yeah, that's about it. That's what you need to actually get to know. Um, of course, you will have your USB um, slots where you can be able to put your slots, uh, your, your uh, memory stick, as well as um, we have our keyboard right here. There's a connection string of uh, the keyboard. Um, and then we have the cover to the base of the laptop. Uh, this is how it looks for this laptop. Um, and then you'll have your, your holes here. So basically these holes provides um, space for these um, strings for the laptop as well as uh, the strings that comes from the touchpad. As you can see, the touchpad is embedded within this uh, base uh, cover of the laptop. This is how it looks underneath. Uh, with the string connection as well as uh, for the power button the string connection is there and then of course you'll have your power button some of the power buttons will have uh, be uh, will be embedded within uh, the keyboard itself right so yeah that's about it with the hardware components of the laptop itself um, yes of course we also have uh, let me just do this we also have this cover that helps cover uh, the LCD screen after being able to put it between the <clears throat> plastic cover of the LCD screen as well as your um, brackets. You just put it on top and then you have uh, a nice cover there. And then we have the charger right here. So basically this is the charging unit, uh, not charging unit, but the charger for the charging unit. Uh, so yeah guys that's about it with the laptop um, of course it has speakers yeah smaller components at the corners um, like I said it differs from um, brand to brand and the model to model right so it's very important that you know these um, components and how they work and uh, what are the specifics of it um, if you have any questions, if you need any advice, if you have any additional information that I might have left out, please do use the comment section down below. Please, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel as well as share and like uh, my videos so that we can be able to come together and learn some of uh, these aspects of uh, computers digitized platforms as well as our mobile devices remember with the dotted nose we are upgrading our computer skills and sniffing and surfing through the net for a safer uh, journey within the internet because we do not want to become victims of identity theft right um, i love you guys um, have a good and a productive week have a fun weekend um, and see you guys in the next tutorial.